Is it just me or is Apple Swift the language that these LLMs and agents are worst at? I think Claude has real problems with Swift. I think they all fall short. You could look at why. And the problem with Swift is not only does every iteration that Apple releases have breaking changes that you need to go back and rewrite most of your code, that most of the proprietary good Swift is hitting behind private repositories. So you have a lot of open repositories that are generally tutorials, to-do lists, various things like that that don't touch on real Swift development. Yeah, that's interesting. There's so much Python code yeah. on GitHub. Must be billions yeah. of lines of working <laughs> code yeah. that and these LLMs code. can download good code and they're <laughs> not so good. Yeah. There, there's all the code. Yeah. Where I think Swift, when it comes to iOS apps and Mac apps that are making money, mm -hmm. they're all written in Swift, but it's so commercial mm -hmm. that, that source code isn't available anywhere. Exactly. Yep. So you go on GitHub and, and there's very little Swift code. They're all using dated patterns most of the time. If you try to use OpenAI or ChatGPT right now and you say, you know, make me an asynchronous function. What it's going to do is revert back to what it knows, which is GCD, Grand Central Dispatch, or completion handlers and give you workable, outdated Swift code. But the new paradigms of using async await, it's just not going to do that. You know, Apple has this like market strength where they can go to developers like us and tell us you must change your code and we must change our code because they're power in the market. Mm -hmm. They come out with a new version every year yes, and they just break stuff. Break it, yep, absolutely. And they tell you by the end of September, we're not accepting any apps that don't use the new system and you can't sell your iOS app anywhere but their app store. And so everyone just goes and rewrites their app yes. pretty much every year to so we, fit yeah. the new stuff. But with the LLM, that means whatever code it finds on GitHub mm -hmm. from before that date, is wrong. Exactly. Python once upon a time, going from Python 2 to Python 3, mm -hmm. they changed how strings worked and broke everyone's code and it turned into a decade of people refusing to update <laughs> from Python yes. 2, right? They, they didn't have the power to muscle all the Python users to say, you must update because it was a free open source yep. library exactly. and so people didn't feel pressured, right? So Apple can pressure everybody. You <laughs> must make the changes or you're not going to make any more revenue. But in open source things, you can't and the LLMs are based on the open source things. Partially, if you look back to earlier this year, Apple revamped their code repository. So Apple releases samples at WWDC and they recently made them all more searchable, findable, structured in its entirety rather than having to dig through countless links that are sometimes empty. And I think it's to train these LLMs to give them access to Apple's sample code. They do update that code. So if there's updated models, oh. they will ingest that. That's mm -hmm. interesting that you think Apple is reacting I do. To make sure there's good code for the LLMs to yes. train on. They are well aware of their drawbacks in this area right now. They're so far behind all LLM models. In WWC24, they previewed Swift Assist, which was co-completion. That shit, that's great. It works okay. They also previewed Swift Assist, where it actually goes to private cloud computing, and Apple wrote your code with you. That never happened. They actually really? swept it under the rug, and they released Swift Assist with other LLM supports. Xcode, of course, is Apple's development environment. Yes. Can you plug Claude into that? Can you yes. plug... GPT into that? Yes. But with caveats. So you have to update th to the latest Mac OS, which is still unstable at this point, but you have to if you want that integration. But not only that, there's no local Apple LLM. So if you plug in OpenAI or ChatGPT, it's the same models you're using on their websites. What? You can't search internal Apple documentation inside of Xcode. Basically unusable. It, it doesn't even have Git access in your own local repository. And so you use it that way? I personally can't. The code assist doesn't work. I have two IDEs. So I'll have VS Code, which is my go-to now, which I used to love Xcode and Xcode is my secondary, but since Apple's so sandbox, you need both. Yeah. So you're running two integrated development environments at the same time? At the same exact time, yes. So you write the code in VS Code and use yep. your agents in VS Code, and then you have to go over to Apple's Xcode to compile the code. Exactly. And debug the code and find the bug, go back to this one, and you fix the bug. That sounds awful. It's horrible. And not only that, you could give context in VS Code or if you're using ChatGPT, you can give context to your conversation. In Apple's Xcode, you can't even give it context to answer you. So you can give it documentation with updated GCD code and say, use this. You need to tell it in every chat what to do, how to respond. That is brutal. Does that put Swift and you know, Swift UI way behind, say, React and Flutter? A lot of these new developers that are coming out vibe coding and putting out Flutter apps and, and React Native apps are, are doing so because of the open sourceness of all of it. You're not going to find that with Swift UI. You're going to find senior developers using it for boilerplate code, but other than that, you're not writing new Swift apps from the ground up with Apple Swift. Assist using any models right now. Not to mention the Swift UI portion of it is just completely broken. It doesn't even know what Swift 6 is right now. Really? Yes. 
Do you know which changes to Swift were the worst? So Swift 5.1 got rid of the GCD structure, which is the completion handlers, the async structure, and they introduced async await. And then 5.5 came out with more of like the main actor code, which is the modern way to do things. And these LLMs don't know about. It's kind of like if you go back to Objective C and you had MRR, which is the manual retain release cycle, and then they upgraded to ARC, that's where we're at right now. And these LLMs are still writing manual retain release. They were trained on old code. I mean, there are brutal implications here, yes. right? That because of Claude, because of ChatGPT, we can't just improve our programming language. You cannot. If somebody invents a programming language that's twice as good, there's going to be no code to train it exactly. on. Exactly. For the first time that I, I've been talking to a lot of my developers, the Android teams are lapping iOS developers for the first time. Usually it's you hook into Xcode, you can write Swift code ages faster. There's no contest now. We're in a weird age. And I think that's it for us. Thank you, Mike. Yep. Thanks I for having me. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. And uh, thank you to all you watching. See you all online. Bye-bye, everyone.